Hello everyone. This is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 2, Problem Set. What we're going to do is take a look at a few questions here. and Let's take a look at one. And we have express each situation as an integer in the space provided. So I know an integer is either going to be a positive, a negative, or a zero. So when I look at A, I have a gain of 56 points in a gain. And when we look at gain or loss, gain is going to mean positive, loss is going to be a negative. So I can put my answer as 56 or positive 56. If we look at question B, a fee charged of $2. So when we talk about positive and negative situations, it doesn't mean like it's a good thing and a bad thing. We mean is it a, are you getting something or are you losing something? Are you gaining something um, or is it going down? So a fee charged to you means it's going to cost you $2. So that's going to be a negative 2 because you're losing $2. You are going down $2. And we'll take a look at F. A $12,500 deposit. When we talk about depositing something, we're talking about putting it into the bank account. So what's happening to the amount in the bank account? Is it going up or down? And when you deposit it, it's going up. So it's going to be a positive integer because the value is going up. And we can do that, in, or you could put the plus in front of it if you wanted to. That's up to you. So let's take a look down now. Let's go to question three. And it says, mark the integer on the thermometer that corresponds to the temperature given. So we'll take a look at a few of these. I'm going to mark them with the letters on the sides here. So A, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we have to keep in mind with this is these two things over here. This thermometer is read in either degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. So if we look at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, we have to look at the left-hand side. All of these numbers here going down. So I'm looking for the 70 on the left-hand side, and I see it's right here. So that's A. B, and I'll do this because it's in Celsius. I'll do it in a different color, 12 degrees Celsius. So I need to go to the Celsius side, which is the right, and look for 12. And I see I have a... Uh, I'm counting each tick mark. What I mean by a tick mark is those little marks in there. They're each counting up by twos. So I'm at 10. I need to be at positive 12. And that's going to be right there. So I can mark that with B. Um, C is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go back over to the left-hand side to the Fahrenheit and look for 110 degrees positive 110 degrees and that's going to be right up towards the top so that's C and then D is negative 4 degrees Celsius so I got to find 0 and I'm going to go below 0 which is into the negatives and I know these are counting by 2's that's my scale so I have 2, 4, that's negative 4 or D and I'll circle the D part of it and the very last one I want to look at is number five. The last question. Kaylin shaded the thermometer to represent a temperature of 20 degrees below zero Celsius as shown in the diagram. Is she correct? Why or why not? If necessary, describe how you would fix Kaylin shading. So when we take a look at this one, 20 degrees below Celsius, uh, below zero Celsius, we have to make sure first where she marked it, and she did mark it right there at negative 20 degrees, but on which side of the thermometer was she basing it? Degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius? And she's got it on the left-hand side, which is degrees Fahrenheit. So is she correct? She is not correct. Why or why not? She's not correct because she based it on degrees Fahrenheit, and she needs to be looking at degrees Celsius. So where would I set this? I'd take a look at the right-hand side. 
and I would look down below zero to 20 degrees below zero Celsius, which is negative 20, and I see it's right here on the right-hand side. So if I were going to shade this, come straight across, and I'm going to shade it down. So that's where Kaylin should have shaded. I hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.